I've got a few bits on bobs that I can update you on today. Uh, things that I've been planting these last few days that I haven't actually documented the seed sowing part of it. I just want to show you what's going on and what we're going to be using them for. Like this is a, uh, a pack that I sowed about four days ago, I believe, and it's called Saladin. And basically, it's an iceberg lettuce, but I've multi sown seeds in there. So even though it's a hearting lettuce, we don't have to use it as a hearting lettuce. I do these every year, and I'll take out one plug of these and pop them on as a big clump. And as they grow, they'll get really big leaves on them that we can keep harvesting, like the cut and come again method of salad leaves. So just because it says it's a heart in lettuce doesn't mean you have to treat it like one. So that's some we've got there and there's about there's about 40 plants in that one little cell. We've potted on our tomato plants as well. And as you can see, it's just for being moved from that multi-sown tray into little pots of their own. They're starting to come on really well too. And that's uh, outdoor girl tomato plants. Then we've got these again starting to look like something now. These are sunspot dwarf sunflowers. We've got about 40 in there and they've got the true leaves on them now. So they're going to start and grow a bit quicker. Now we're getting a bit of sun and we've passed all those minus one, minus two nights. From what I've actually seen on weather uh, in UK, it's now going to be consistently about 45 through the night, which is better than the 31, 32s that we've been having. So the majority of plants will probably be all right to leave in the greenhouse now. But always keep your eye on that weather, it could change. Then we've got those uh, pepper plants that we moved on. They've got a few more leaves on them. So we've got a little video coming up on these uh, as soon as they get a few extra leaves on them, a way that you can make this plant bushy rather than tall, and as a result of doing that, it will produce more fruit. So keep your eye out for that video because that'll be coming up as soon as this has got about five sets of true leaves on it. If you remember on a previous video, I was pricking out those tiny little spinaches. And if you did see the video, you'll, you'll know that there was only these two leaves showing. Now, the true leaves have appeared and they've grown quite a bit bigger. And again, that was only a few days ago. Also did these over the last few days. These were tomato plants that were popped into one of these little trays. And when they got to a certain size, I just pricked them out and then put them in their own separate little cells. And their gardener's delight Again, they're coming on, now they've been moved, and we got 40 plants out of that. Now we'll just go up to other greenhouse, because I have got a few bits and bobs in there as well that we've moved on, and we'll see how they're going. As you can see from this, this is the vegetable basket that we planted up, and we put lettuce in there, and we put some radish in. We've harvested the radish, as I said we would, but in the center, we also planted some peas and they're petit pois so they'll trail down the outside of this basket as they grow and they only grow two feet in length so we're going to have three or four plants on the outside growing as fresh peas while we're harvesting the leaf lettuce and in this tray we've got the alderman main crop peas which were just poking out on a recent video but now Obviously they're starting to come on quite well and we've got like two plants in each cell there which is not taking a lot of space up but we've got four packs of 12 in there so we've basically got 48 separate plugs that we're going to be able to put out or in containers and there's two plants per cell. The potato plant that again was just poking through only a couple of weeks ago has now really come on We've just been chucking a bit of fleece over this at night, just in case there were a frost. And then next to it we've got the uh, charlots, which we sowed. 
and that was way back on 10th of February and they're just starting to come through now but this one that's looking really well is the potato that we took out of the fridge because it was it wasn't a seed potato it was a store-bought potato that we allowed to chip and then potted in here it's coming on really well I decided to pot on those plants that we got from Morrison's that was actually only two pound each uh, they are going to be moved into containers shortly but just for now I thought I'll put them into a bigger pot and let them grow on a little bit and we did the same with the fuchsia and they're all looking really healthy then we've got these two clematis which we've already got a bit of a plan for I'll just show you if you can see through this window through that window there's a really old tree and I've cut all the branches off it and what we're going to do is plant these two clematis at the base of that tree and let them grow up it just to add a little bit of decoration to the beer garden area that we're also creating and we'll get round to that soon enough and then in these pikes they're all the uh, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli etc that were pricked out quite recently and we've buried them right down to the first tiny leaf and as you can see, they're starting to come on really well now. And they're not leggy, which is the main thing. And the baskets that we had decided to hang at the top of the greenhouse, which is the warmest part of any greenhouse. And you can see only after a week or two, just how much they're now starting to fill out with flowers. And the pansy one as well is looking quite well. It's yet to get any flowers on it, but they will come. We only cut this grass last week as well and it's already back up with you know the rain we've had and then the sunshine but it's starting to look really nice and lush green and we did a bit of work on that area as well last week and planted a few violas into this old pallet conversion that we did so i think it's always worth doing a little update now and again every week or so just so people can see the progress of the plants and the reason why we put things like tomato plants into little tubs like that which then become 40 tomato plants that we prick out and that's took no space up while it's been waiting to germinate so it kind of gives you an insight to just how much you can grow in a really small area anyway thanks for watching i really appreciate all your comments the feedback that I get from people and the subscribers thank you very much for being part of this channel and if you want to carry on watching more videos as we're going through season then just hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and the notifications bell and we'll see you on the next video update you all take care